Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 13, DC Motors. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, a force that tends to move the conductor out of the field is exerted on the conductor. The electron flow rule is used to determine the direction of a motion of a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Torque is developed on a wire loop in a magnetic field. The distortion of the magnetic lines of force causes the conductor loop to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. DC motor construction. DC motors consist of a field winding, an armature, commutator, and brushes that make contact with the successive copper bars of the commutator as the shaft, armature, and commutator rotate. A rotating force or torque is exerted on the armature when it is positioned so that the plane of the armature loop is parallel to the field and the armature loop sides are at right angles to the magnetic field. The four basic types of DC motors are DC series motors, DC shunt motors, DC compound motors, and DC permanent magnet motors. A DC series motor is a motor with the field connected in series with the armature. A DC series motor produces high starting torque. To control the speed of a DC shunt motor, the voltage of the armature is varied as the shunt field current is varied. A field rheostat or armature rheostat is used to adjust the speed of a DC shunt motor. A DC compound motor is a motor with the field connected in both series and shunt with the armature. A DC compound motor combines the operating characteristics of series and shunt motors. A DC permanent magnet motor uses magnets, not a winding for the field poles. Depper motors. Depper motors rotate at fixed angles when they receive electrical impulses. The total number of segments a motor has determines the number of individual steps a motor can take in one revolution. The order in which the stator windings are turned on and off determines the direction of rotation of the rotor and shaft of a stepper motor. Transistor switches are used to rapidly turn on and off the stator coils to move the rotor. An encoder is used to produce discrete electrical impulses during each increment of shaft rotation of a stepper motor. DC motor load requirements. Work equals force times distance. Torque is the force that produces or tends to produce rotation. Motor power is rated in horsepower and watts. The operating speed, torque, and horsepower rating of a motor determine the work that the motor can produce. Troubleshooting DC motors. Brushes ride on the fast moving commutator. Brushes must be positioned correctly to maintain proper contact with the commutator. Any markings on the commutator such as grooves or ruts or discolorations other than a polished brown color where the brushes ride indicate a problem. A DC motor is tested for a grounded, open, or short circuit by using a continuity tester. 